Hey everyone, welcome to Mountain Woman Radio. I'm your host, Tammy Treyer, and today is episode number 216. Are you still waking up every day? Me too. We're going to talk about that. Before I dive into today's show, I would like to share something with you because I really feel that many of us are dealing with the same thing. I see a lot of people dealing with chronic fatigue syndrome right now. And chronic fatigue syndrome is a result of a previous virus. And it's oftentimes very hard to get out of chronic fatigue syndrome. It causes depression. It just is a bad place to be. You're excessively tired. You're dysfunctional. So I wanted to mention this today because I've utilized this and I have gained my health back as a result of it. But if you are dealing with chronic fatigue syndrome, um, chronic illness, chronic pain, POTS, uh, multiple chemical sensitivity, um, autoimmune diseases, irritable bowel syndrome, uh, electrohypersensitivity syndrome, Lyme disease, fibromyalgia, anxiety, depression, PTSD, and breast implant illness as well food sensitivities also, this will be of extreme help to you. And it's very simple to do, and it is an amazing process, and it is an awesome thing when we can train our brains to take a different pathway and remove ourselves from horrible, horrible places. You, many of you have been following me. You know I've experienced a lot of things over the last four years, and this was really a life-altering uh, blessing for me. So you can go to treyerwilderness.com slash retraining the brain, and you will gain insight on some amazing things that you can do for yourself in as fast as three days. And to be honest with you, We saw incredible results in the first day already. So check it out. I wanted to share that with you because I am seeing a pattern here, which we will talk more about in future episodes. But that was definitely something on my heart, and I wanted to share that today. For those of you that are new to my show, my family and I live 100% off-grid in northern Idaho. We've been doing this for a decade. We just sold our off-grid homestead that we built from the ground up a decade ago. And we are going to be starting the process, hopefully in the next three weeks, uh, getting our traditional log cabin built on new raw land and getting ourselves set up and self-sustainable once again in a new location. So we're really excited about that and look forward to having you guys joining us on that journey. So the question was in the beginning, are you still waking up every day? That's a good thing, right? We're still breathing, we're still living, we're still moving. Although I'm sure many of you um, were as distraught as I was last week with all the things happening in our nation. If the pandemic and the coronavirus wasn't bad enough and being locked down wasn't enough um, to have the senseless and horrible act uh, done to George Floyd was just disturbing and saddening. And I know that for many, because I know how I felt myself, it was just a really rough thing to hear. And I believe that because we were already in a low place or in a place of uncertainty, that that just added to it. Then you've got the um, looting and uh, fires and just senseless, absolutely senseless acts of maliciousness in our country that's going on. I am cheering those on that are peacefully walking and supporting and protesting the situation. But the acts of violence and the unnecessary deaths that are happening in our country is very disturbing and saddening. And it puts us in a place where we really need to look out for ourselves. We really need to look out for ourselves and our families. We need to be um, learning to be more prepared. And if you're waking up every day, you have the opportunity every day to make a difference. The question is, are you making a difference every day? 
And what kind of difference are you making? Are you making a positive difference or a negative difference? Or are you choosing to crawl back in bed and hide yourself under the covers? I think right now more than ever, we need to make the decision to be a positive light in this world, whether that is praying for people, whether that is doing random acts of kindness, whether that is voting and voting in the proper people to run our country, because right now it's a disaster. And, you know, we need to pray for our president, pray for those in control that are making good decisions for us. Um, it may also mean um, becoming a part of your community and standing up against the violence. And I know that sounds probably very scary to a lot of you, but um, here in Idaho, that's what's been happening. Uh, we've been coming together as communities, standing up in a lot of the cities and preventing the, the uh, destruction from entering our state and our cities and our, our homes, our home area. So it's a tough time. But I wanted to also mention, as I'm mentioning all this devastation and this negativity, it's really important to remember that our God is bigger than all of this. And by seeking him, by being prayerful, by uh, praying without ceasing, by being a good example and walking the walk and talking the talk, you know, we all make mistakes, but if we try our best to walk with integrity it will stand out it will stand out now more than ever and i am seeing which is a blessing so much more people speaking out on on their faith um on on their um desires to have a better country to make sure that we don't lose our rights and to see that positive change is really, really a blessing uh, during this time. And that's why I want to encourage you that if you're still waking up every day to remember that the reason you're still waking up every day is because you have purpose on this earth. You have purpose here, whether you know what it is or not. And the more we seek God, the more God will instill in us and guide us to what we are here for. I feel that my family and I are walking that out. I feel that we are led to educate, inspire, and share, and encourage our audience to be a light. But also, you know, in these times, to realize that we need to stand up for our constitutional rights and we need to protect our families. And that can be done in a lot of different ways. So I want to encourage you, as we've been talking about, is uh, putting action to our knowledge to create the power, correct? Well, here's a perfect example of how that can be done and how we can be active uh, and, and voice and a voice in the dark and a light in the dark and that's what we need to be we need to really make an effort to share the goodness and the gospel of Jesus Christ in these times and let me tell you something you cannot tell me there are not opportunities every day in some way or another to be that light and we have those opportunities every day. Our family had that opportunity yesterday by just simply selling the Mountain Boys truck and communicating with the uh, people that looked at it and, and share God's goodness. And our prayer yesterday was that we were a light in some way. And that is our prayer every morning. You know, use us, allow us to be a light allow us to reach somebody that's in a low place allow us to plant a seed that seed will grow it just may not grow right away but we have the opportunity to plant seeds every day they may stay dormant for a long time you don't know 
And the other thing is when you know there are people around you that need help and that need prayers, and even if you can't physically help them for whatever reason, you can pray. And there is great power in prayer. We have seen it. And if you've been following us, you have seen it. And you're going to see it a whole lot more because we've been praying for some really huge things to happen on our new property. And when they do, it's going to be tremendous. So I want to encourage you that as you walk out every day, you know, if you are the one that's waking up and all you want to do is crawl back in bed and put the covers over your head, I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out today because you can make a difference. And by helping other people and, and having purpose in your day, you will take yourself from the place that you're in and progress to a more positive place. There's a lot of garbage going on in our world and it's really easy to get depressed and down and disturbed by it all. Another great thing you can do, detach from social media. Detach from the news. Have outlets that you check periodically so you know what's going on around you and in your neighborhood and to make sure that your family is safe. But you don't need to be sitting there surfing to see what Mary Lou's eating for breakfast. You just don't. It draws you in, it sucks you in, and it takes you to places where you don't want to be. There is great beauty around us. And getting out into nature, um, making sure that you're keeping yourself active, that you're eating well, that you're staying healthy, that you're getting stronger versus being an armchair cowboy and sitting and handling that remote all day. We need to take care of ourselves and we need to be prepared. And all of that is part of it. Learning how to take care of our mental health through these situations is really, really important. And all of those things I mentioned will help you with that. Having good close friends that you can communicate with, that, that um, support you, that love you, and, and that are there for you. Those are the kind of people you want to surround yourself with. We've talked about this in the last couple videos and, and podcasts. It's important that we keep ourselves in a healthy state, regardless what is going on around us. And, and I'll be honest, last week, it was really sad to hear everything that was going on. And even still, to watch the news and see what kind of devastation and see how people are reacting in such a horrible, horrible way. There is no integrity involved in this, and all lives matter. And our prayers are going out to George Floyd's family and that awful experience that it's just it's horrible it is absolutely horrible and and justice needs to be done there but we need to understand that we are going to experience these emotions i felt them last week and i wanted to do this podcast last week so it was ready for this week and i'll be honest i couldn't do it i was in a, a mental place that i could not I did not feel like I could be encouraging to you. So we're going to experience those things. And I'm no different than you are. I am just as human. I am, I am, I've become flesh often. But how I regained myself was seeking God, praying, praying for our country, praying for our leaders, praying for these places that are just under attack. And knowing that our God is bigger and greater than any circumstance we will ever experience. You know, I might have been in a sad place, but I never, ever, ever will lose sight of the fact that God is ahead of everything and bigger than everything, and he's always there, and his promises are incredible and extremely miraculous. And all of us have that offered to us. So do remember that. And if you um, have questions about that, you're welcome to reach out to me at any time at prayers at treyerwilderness.com. If you need special prayers, you're welcome to reach out to me as well. We really take that portion of what we do very seriously. We take everything we do very seriously, but that 
holds great value to us. It's quite the humble honor to be able to pray for other people and to have people share things with us and know that you don't need to share details. All you need to do is share that you need prayers and you can count on being lifted every day, multiple times, and that we will recruit our prayer warriors to pray for you as well. So if you are waking up every day, just remember that you have purpose and we need to be aware of what is going on around us and we need to make a difference during these times. We can't accept what is going on around us. It's not right. None of it is right. And we need to um, make sure that our rights are protected and that we are looking out for one another. There is uh, great strength in community and right now we need to all stand strong more than ever guys so keep waking up every day i'm glad you're waking up every day and i know that you have tremendous things ahead for you and i will be praying for each and every one of you we are very thankful to have you joining us and we love you all and until next week's podcast you guys take care and God bless.